welcome back as we earlier said commemorating uh, the ninth anniversary of june 30th revolution with all its memories uh, and all uh, the things that happened and also the achievements that took place ever since we started a new era and corrected our path with a new president our savior and our uh, hero who uh, made another uh, wrote another uh, date in history by building a new republic by establishing uh, mega projects by uh, developing a new renaissance and uh, effecting a new economic uh, reform program and many things infrastructural projects uh, uh, empowering and enforcing women and children and also enforcing youth uh, writing a new history for Egypt and uh, uh, also retaining the leading role of uh, Egypt uh, in the region and worldwide. This is something that we thought one day it was impossible. After we were, we were ruled by an iron fist with an outlawed uh, brotherhood organization that we succeeded in uh, uh, conquering its terrorism. Uh, today, we take a flashback and a throwback into history to remember that uh, glorious day where e Egyptians took to the streets uh, on June 30th and kicked off the Brotherhood and mandated the Egyptian Armed Forces and its back then Defense Minister, Pre um, Major General Abdel Fattah Sisi. Uh, we're very delighted to be having with us live here in the studio Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, our political analyst. Good morning, Mr. Abdurrahman. Good morning to you. So uh, to what extent uh, do Egyptians succeed in achieving uh, the goals of uh, the June 30th revolution? That, that is a question that you, could, that you don't need to ask it to an Egyptian, but to people outside Egypt, we need to repeat it again and again. To realize where we are right now, we should remember where were we before uh, 12 years from now. Mm. Uh, there's a big, huge, difference, huge mm. uh, gap, huge uh, distance between uh, the year of 2010 and the year of 2022. We have a total renaissance in each and every file, in each and every corner in this state. Mm. I believe that we have changed so many things, corrected so many paths, mm. and still we have greater challenges, whether outside or inside. Because when the revolution of uh, June 30 arose in Egypt, we were fighting against the terroristic group uh, rule. But this uh, group or uh, the non-Muslim uh, organization uh, is a Masonic Brotherhood built upon uh, the, 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 the idea of corrupting and uh, undermining the, sti the, 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 the stability uh, of the religion and the, 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 the society and bringing uh, the, the makers of, those or of this organization, which are outside, of course, uh, outsiders from uh, the MI6 and uh, uh, CIA, uh, you name it, to bring them uh, a path into Egypt to uh, corrupt this country. But we have stopped this for good, forever. Mm. We have changed this table upside down and now we are today we are fighting against those powers who created the non-muslim brotherhood organization mm. which is the greater fight the greater battle because we were f fighting against the 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 puppet made by those uh, hostile powers from outside and now we are facing those and we have conquered them on the battle of june 30 we have mm. conquered them they have tried to uh, to send someone who ruled for them and achieve their own goals against the the uh, the egyptians and our national security right. and we have conquered this on june 30 which is very important 
it's very uh, much true that Egyptians through the revolution taking to the streets and demonstrating against this outlawed, outlawed militant uh, group of the Brotherhood. They uh, just uh, hit the first nail in the tomb of, uh, this, of, of terrorism in general. Uh, and uh, that annoyed a lot of people with different political interests that were, who were against Egypt, of course. And that's why immediately after we made this revolution, we, uh, a, a huge war was waged against Egypt. And there were, um, um, you know, uh, fake media outlets, uh, faking news about this is a, a military coup. And it was against the will of Egyptians. And it was not a democratic uh, uh, political step and all that. That. And we have later on backed our president and backed our leadership and proven uh, that this is totally untrue. So uh, s until this very moment, there are still wars that are waged against Egypt uh, to, to, to just to distract uh, the path of our development and uh, you know to destroy our hopes for a new republic and all that. Of course, we totally understand, but Egypt has succeeded in conquering terrorism and defeating terrorism. And we remember very well that Egypt already was chosen two times at the United Nations to head a committee uh, uh, and lead uh, and uh, draw a leading role uh, uh, explaining to the whole world how to defeat terrorism uh, one day. So if you'd like to elaborate over these points. I wonder, when was the, the USA was supporting uh, any religion, not only, just, not just Islam? Mm. Suddenly, out of the blue, they are moving from the, 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 the corner who is not with us, he's against us, said by uh, mm. uh, Mr. Uh, George Bush before his uh, uh, brutal attack against Iraq. And <laughs> the time and era of Mr. Uh, Obama, who just were, you, you could feel that he's a main supporter, he's a main pillar of this uh, terroristic organization. You feel just he's the, the, the other face of a coin, the, mm. uh, the first face of it is bin Laden. How mm. come? What this change? This change is just a play, a playing cards, changing faces, changing masks. They, they seek destroying the most important power in the world the most important power in the world. And I, I will come to this point again. Mm. Right afterwards, the success of the June 30 revolution, or I, I may call it th uh, June 30 battle. Right afterwards, they have created another organization just out from nothing. It was ISIS. Why ISIS? ISIS is a, is a, is a, is a very important symbol in our a civilization, ISIS. Mm. Of course, it's a nickname for the uh, yes. Uh, this organization. Uh, actually, uh, uh, we we we, we uh, according to the media rules, we do not give them that name. Uh, we just call them that. Whatever. Um, then they have now. Right now, mm. they have supported another terroristic regime, a terroristic country in uh, the, the Taliban mm. in Afghanistan. Taliban is a branch and a, a very old branch mm. from the, the terroristic uh, brotherhood, uh, non-Muslim. Do you believe that? Mm. From the 30s, they have uh, expanded a branch in Afghanistan. It's all based on uh, political interests. It of has nothing to do with religion. Nothing is mm. not upon a political interest. And that's interest. why we do not but ever use the name ISIS because it sure, sure. involves the name in, of Islam in a, a very terrible, wrong way. Which is not true, sure, of course. Sure, exactly. I'm talking about they have created not mm. only organizations, but states of terrorism. Mm. Militant groups. And of course. Mm. And now they ha with the, the withdrawal, uh, the military withdrawal from Ag Afghanistan, mm. moving their troops into near of Asitana and uh, Middle uh, Asia and uh, Eurasia, Mm. This was a very important step. They were sup uh, supposed to threaten the whole East countries, Middle East countries, and I call it East countries, 
with this new basis of NATO, mm. supposed or, or based upon their past plans of the, the, uh, the, the, the Zionist Spring, not Arab Spring, in the, in the region, mm. to destroy the regimes and make it uh, an open land for them. And we all know that the, the Muslim Brotherhood always supported, the non-Muslim Brotherhood always supported the U.S. and the NATO. They were all, all of the time their ally. See, we have turned their, uh, their, their, uh, their masquerade upside down. The, we have turned their plans mm. upside down. Yeah. Without this revolution in June 30, we, we would never have this balance today between the East and the West. The East is Russia. The, uh, the West is the U.S. and the, and the NATO. Mm. We have saved, saved the existence of the, the, the Russian fleet in Crimea, mm. in, uh, in the Black Sea. We have uh, given them a breath of air. We were, they were just losing their uh, uh, influence. They were lo losing their power against the NATO. And the, the NATO have their plans against Russia all the time. Mm. All the time. Even in the, in the times we, we, fo we thought there, are pe there is peace between the two powers. No, they have their plans against them, against the Russians. Mm. Egypt was supposed, if this uh, non-Muslim Brotherhood uh, ru uh, ruling, if, if it was continued, we would now be in the side of the U.S. Mm. Against Russia. But we have, right now, not, not we are not with Russia. We are taking the course of our own best interests. And we have interests with Russia. And we have corporations, corporation uh, fields, huge corporation fields with, with Russia. As, as well as we have the same corporation uh, files with uh, the, the Western friends. See what I mean? I, I remember here that uh, 10 years ago, uh, 10, 10, 10 days ago, uh, Mr. President Abdel Fattah Sisi was uh, directing a speech to the, the, the summit of St. Petersburg in, uh, in Moscow. Uh, by video conference mm. at the same very day we were receiving the the eu uh, delegation uh, summit we have uh, a very important agreement to export gas to europe see mm. what i mean this is the situation mm. that i meant in the first place we have exactly. the stand that no other country in the world could take mm. we are taking our course of our own best interests, either with the West or the, or the, with the East or the West. Mm. No other country in this world do this. And we also, we taught the, 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 Arab, the Arab friends in Gulf that not only America can, can be our friends, we can have Russia as a friend too, at the same time. Mm. And we have seek our own best interests, mm. not, to, not to accomplish the interests of, uh, the, of the Western countries like we did as Egypt and the Arab uh, countries, all of them, uh, in the past era, of course, mm. with Abdel Fattah Sisi's ideas and horizons uh, of building a solid and a strong state that can have its own decision from Cairo, not from other, any other uh, capital in the world. Of course. Um uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi on this occasion, he delivered a very important speech and he made stops. But let us, before we delve into his uh, quotes, uh, we also take a look over the unprecedented economic challenges that uh, Egypt overtook ever since that revolution. Just like the whole world, Egypt was undergoing also uh, um, uh, challenges. And uh, with the Egyptian will, with the uh, Egyptian people backing their president, and with the very successful economic reform program, Egypt make it, made it to get through the dark tunnel and established a solid foundation to build a new Republican infrastructural projects and uh, uh, develop with many files that were almost had no hope that we could change. So uh, um, how do you see President Sisi's efforts to achieve notable development in Egypt in only seven years? He, he became very popular with achieving... Uh, most of the mega projects in no time. Exactly. 
there is no, it's ra so rare that uh, a week pass without uh, a week pass without a, a new, project. Uh, new uh, project uh, of opened. Of course, that is true. Uh, there, there is a very important notice here that Mr. President do not declare mm. about, uh, declare the, 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 the opening of any project until it's already accomplished. Mm. He never said, we will build here a pyramid. We will build, he build here a, a whatever. No, never. He never talked about a project until it's completed. And he is building a pyramid right now. Mm. And a very impor important uh, achievement and accomplishment. A scientific city. It's called uh, Tut Terra. Mm. It's a very important uh, scientific city. It's going to be... Uh, for for uh, for uh, for uh, scientific researches on the highest level, built upon our own legacy of, of our of our own s secret science of what 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 we call it free energy, mm. which is very it is the energy of the future and the energy of the past that has built our own civilization civilizations thousands of years ago. Mm. He has caught the code of our own civilization, how to build this country. He is a man, a soldier, from the finest and the bravest and the strongest mm. army in the world. And I believe that all the kings, all the, rul the, the rulers who have built Egypt were, were the same I identity, the same character. Of Mr. Abdel Fattah Sisi. Mm, he's yes. a man from this land, so much Egyptian, and he's a military man. He's a soldier. He's a fighter. Not just, not just a soldier, he's a fighter. And he knows how to fight to build his country. And uh, with a heart full of love to his country and the peoples of his nation. He also, uh, uh, while he was giving uh, his uh, important speech, he affirmed that if it were not for the, uh, the successful economic uh, reform program that was implemented at that particular time, uh, uh, since 2016, um, racing against time and uh, working uh, tooth and nail, uh, trying to effect this program, confronting all the repercussions of the current international situation, uh, this would have been, the situation would have been very difficult. He talked about this yes, of course. because he was harshly criticized when he started off that reform program by opposition. And people were very skeptical about this uh, economic step. But after seven years, we have recognized that he was totally, he had a foresight. And had Egypt had this step, uh, racing with time at this particular moment in 2016, uh, we wouldn't have been in that place now, right now today. Any other president uh, or any other uh, usual president or ordinary president, when he, we, were, we were going so high, we were just going so well in our path of building this country until the, the epidemic of uh, Corona and then the, the crisis of the, the war between uh, uh, the military uh, operation, uh, the Russian military operation in Ukraine. Any other country in the world would, would just put a hold, stop, let's, get, let's sit back for a while, mm. see what, what, what we're going to do. Mr. President was brave enough to continue the path, to continue the march towards uh, develop, development and continuing as much as it can be done, the, 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 the greater projects in Egypt. Mm. He, he, he builds th those cr projects not for us, it's for the coming generation. He's building now the base. If we, if we understand this, we would feel so very much relieved. We are now building the base of this country. Mm. Before we had no country. Our country was just totally, almost dead, mm. in a coma for 30 years. We had our role in Africa eliminated, in, in the Arab region eliminated, our uh, heavy uh, influence in the world eliminated about the year of 2010. He's building all this, all this, 
at the same time, outside and inside. And of course, he might get uh, harsh criticism, of course. Some of them were, uh, were just uh, taken by the same voices of the old regime, who are just, are trying hardly and harshly to stop this march. Mm. They are trying to prove that no, it was before yesterday, and the, 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 the late regime was the better, was the stronger, was whatever. We were one of the, 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 the most failure 30 countries in the world by the, by the an, an IMF report and the International Bank at the year of 28. Hmm. That's uh, 14 years ago. We are now. We having so many red signs, uh, so, so many green signs from all the, 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 uh, the associations, the, the financial associations. They are uh, praising our, our own march. They are giving us uh, good signs mm. for what we have uh, accomplished. Despite the crisis we are facing, of course we have also. Some uh, old powers are trying to uh, recreate Footsteps again in our reality, trying mm. to destroy what we are uh, achieving for the same goal. Mm. So part, very important part of our battle to clear this country from, from the old regime's powers at all. Right. Very important because together we ha they have ruled this country in, a, mm. in the most... Uh, unfair way for, th for 30 years right and uh, uh, of course we still have a lot a lot to remember on this very very special day only we ran out of time uh, okay. of course but we still commemorate we're very thankful to our Egyptian army yes. and our leader President Abdel Fattah Sisi Mr. Amr Abdel Rahman our political analyst would like to thank you so much thank you, and you have a beautiful me. day thank you you, you too and we're going to go to a short break and we'll come to continue the breakfast show, so stay with us.